Hello and welcome back to another Battle Box video. I am finally back from my little Stellaris hiatus because I have just playing nothing but Stellaris recently and Stellaris takes a gajillion years to play a singular game. Can this person please just die? Thank you. But a game of Stellaris takes like on average 50 years to complete. Mine definitely took over 50 hours because Stellaris, you play for hundreds of years as a civilization. And then, dang it, there goes the ace. And then the game is also lagging for like the last 200 years as well, just because of how many different things that it has to run. So that's where all of my time has been going recently, but I'm finally back and playing MCC Island. Red team is absolutely stacked. I can't wait to get rolled. But the main piece of news that I have come here with is that Rat Tactics has officially made it into playoffs for the IBL. We went 9-7 and seven during the regular season, putting us in the third seed behind... Okay, I need to focus for a second. There's a lot of people. Thank you, teammate. Uh, one more person, all the way over there. Let's see if I can get a shot on you. Are you just going to fight, teammate? Why are you loving Alright, we'll take that. But our team went 9-7, and seven, meaning that we were in the third seed behind... Uh, this lobby is so sweaty. I'm just, sorry, I'm just like hard focusing right now. Last guy, missed the shot, that's not good. Okay, we're fine. Sorry, I was completely focused right there and was just not talking, but red team was filled with sweat, so I didn't want to throw it around. I wish to play a map that is not Pumpkin Patch, please. Alright, unfortunately, we've been forsaken to more Pumpkin Patch, but to get back on topic, Rat Tactics is the third seed in the Coastal Division. We are below Nova Tavern, and we're above Cooking with Freeze. Unfortunately, my favorite team that was us, Arctic Guards, did not make it. I was very heavily rooting for them to be the fourth seed instead of Cooking with Freeze, because Arctic Guards was upsetting a lot of teams at the beginning of the season. They beat Nova. They beat Cooking with Freeze, which is what I think started it all. And so I immediately become super fans of them because nobody expected Arctic Guards to do good, not even their own players. And then Arctic Guards just start beating, like, number one teams. So I was 100% rooting for them to make playoffs because that would have been so cool. That being said, it is nice to have Cooking with Grease back in the playoffs again since they are a staple team for playoffs matches. Unfortunately for Nocturnal, they did not manage to keep their playoff streak going. Instead of being the number one team in the league like they have been every single season, they actually just straight up didn't make playoffs this season, and they finished fifth in their division, the Volcanic Division. Oh, you want to heal? Come back. Please, let me heal you. You know what? You can go and fight them, I guess. I'll save the seal for myself. But Nocturnal finished fifth. Impact narrowly beat them and finished fourth in their division. Oh, you don't even have that much HP. There you go. But Impact narrowly beat Nocturnal going 10 and 6, whereas Nocturnal went 9 and 7. And then on the top of their division was Hang 10, Femme Fatales, and Serpentine. A map that isn't Pumpkin Patch, we're saved! 
We have three matching skins on orange team though, which means that we might be about to get rolled by PvP sweats. <clears throat> but the weakest team that made playoffs in the Volcanic Division is probably Impact, which says a lot about how good the Volcanic Division is, because Impact is by no means a bad team. Is Sir Wow just gonna go and ace everybody? Alright, you can go and ace. Okay, as long as- why is there so much TNT? But I'd say the favorite from the other division is probably either Hang 10 or Femme Fatales to make it all the way to the finals. As for our division, I'd say Nova is very much the overwhelming favorite. I just don't know who between Hang 10 and Femme Fatales in the other division is. Alright, I don't know what you guys are up to. You guys, you guys doing good? I'll just let those two do their thing. I'm just gonna feel a little bit. That guy's levying over the lava, not taking any risks. Sir Wow's taking a fight. Sir Wow loses a fight. Or carry. I'm not letting you fill in this blood. I don't know where anybody is. You. Oh, there you are. Are they gonna push us or are they just gonna let us win based off wool? Oh, I just got bowed. That's kind of un. Why are you still alive? Thank you. Alright, we're going up against the matching monochrome skins. It's time to get absolutely rolled by PvP sweats. You're not one of the monochrome skins. I'm just gonna go and help my teammate who's already up here fighting people. There we go, that's one down. We don't have a healer, I think, which is kind of unfortunate. That is way too close for comfort. I was absolutely throwing that fight. Last guy is in their spawn. Our team could just will rush it if they want. I don't think they will though. Whoa. I have the monochrome skins on my team. I win. Mass, are you washed? How do I respond to this? Hopefully not. If you look at my IBL stats, I'm definitely washed. It was not a good season for me. I did manage to get the most aces out of any player in the IBL, but besides that, my, my kills were not what they were last season. I'm back. And you go away. Okay, they did not want to go away. But a lot of the kills this season were handled by Landon and Rodom, so I was not nearly as high on the kill leaderboard. Whereas last season, I was first in the kill leaderboard, and the season before that, I was first in the kill leaderboard. This season, I was not even top 10, I think. Which, you know, it's not the best, but I'm not too worried about it, because we still made playoffs, which is what matters. I was number one in aces, though, and I was also number one in potion kills. So those are, those are two stats that I did manage to actually hold on to. I'm hoping for a Rat Tactics for Serpentine final because I think that that would be a really fun final to play. But I think it is very unlikely to happen just due to how overwhelmingly powerful a lot of the teams are this season. Uh, let's go ahead and drop you. If I could aim. Wow, you actually hit me quite a bit. Last guy, you doing good? Wow, that was a nice hit. But anyways, thank you for watching. That was another Battlebox video. If you liked it, you can like the video. If you disliked it, don't dislike the video because I wouldn't appreciate it. But do what you want, I guess. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye! Alright, and now time to continue keep playing because potential win streak, win streak question mark? The cobwebs are not doing anything. Hello. Go after you. Goodbye. One more all the way over here. I would like to ace if possible, please. 
Bro, the backwards momentum. That is so unfortunate. Every time. I've potted myself so many times recently with that backwards momentum. Alright, we're going up against a team of a bunch of monochrome skins. They did get beat by yellow team, but yellow team is a pretty stacked team, so it's not too surprising. But, you know. Alright, let's just drop you first. Oh, my teammate's out over there. Let's see if we can drop this fella right here. They seem to be a bit isolated. Teammate's got that one covered. Shoot you a little bit. You are already on to 1 HP. And my teammates should have the other guy covered. Cool. Yellow team did just absolutely roll purple team as well, so we still have to beat them if we want to win this round. Or this game, I mean. I'm just going to rush left side like I always do, try and beat them to the pot. Then AFK I saw, it was not, but I can drop you. One of my teammates is probably going to die soon. I'll head over here to help out. 3v1 now. Alright, that was a little bit close for comfort. <laughs> I couldn't hit them because my teammates were all in the way, but we're fine. It's good when you can isolate those early fights from players going by themselves. It's when they all stick together in groups of four that it becomes a bit tricky to knock players out. The triple monochrome team actually got last, interestingly enough. Either way, I believe that puts us on five wins in a row now, which is a pretty solid streak that we've got building. It can end at any moment, though. These queues are taking absolute ages. Bad box is on high right now. It is 12.30 at night. That would probably influence the speed of the queues. That would make sense. Okay, that was either a three stack... I think that might have been a four stack that joined. I don't know if the queue went down from 13 to 12 and then up to 16, or if it went up from 13 to 14 and then to 16. Either we just got a four stack or we got a two stack. Hmm. Red team is interesting. This map is interesting. I have a lot of ranked teammates on my team, though. This could be fine. Do we have a healer? We don't. Hello. I do have solid teammates. It is just worrying that we don't have a healer, especially because I could see red team having a healer if they are a four stack i don't know if they're a four stack though i think it might be a four stack elderly gray could be a nick i'm just going to ignore that harming pot grab this i'm just going to keep pushing up support this teammate over here don't get shot by that guy over there okay i think i knocked them down they might try and climb up one of these ladders all right, yeah, we're good. Cool. All right, good start. Red team, I think, is going to be the main challenge during this match. I wouldn't mind green team or pink team beating them, though, to make things a little bit easier for us. I don't think that red is going to be losing the pink team anytime soon, though. Yeah, they're on 1 HP. It's not happening. All right, we're up against red team. It's important that we beat this team. I'm going to try and shoot my arrow at this guy and then dodge to the left. Did land the pre-fire, that's lovely. If my teammate could drop you now, that would be great. Nice. Try and knock out their healer. Hit them with a levy. Right, that should be you out of the picture. Last guy is all the way over here. Yeah, my teammate's got that covered. Perfect. A flawless win against red team. Alright, we only need one kill to guarantee first now, because once... Actually... If green team beats pink team, we just guarantee win all, all together. Pink team does have HP advantage. Green player's playing pretty alright, though. Missing a couple hits. Pink is way away from the middle, though, right now. If... Alright. <laughs> that took a minute, but we got there. So we're guaranteed first. We are 660 points ahead of second place, which means that no matter how many kills we get during this next round, we will, at the very minimum, tie. So that pushes us up to uh, six wins in a row now. Halfway to beating the update record. I'm pretty sure update record is 11. Uh, altogether update is 14. Let's go ahead and do some damage to you. My teammates should be able to finish them off now. Do some damage to you. Get you in a levy, actually. Never mind. I almost threw right there, but we're fine. We did lose out on the flawless victory achievement right there because Lynx died, but it's fine. I do not 
care about flawless victories, I just want to win the rounds in general. Alright, Slay. This is a very good map for me. And I have solid teammates. Orange team could be a threat. They have some decent ranked players on their team. Cyan team has one ranked player and so does yellow. So any of these teams could win, but I think that my team probably has the highest odds along with orange. I'm just going to play like I normally do, and I'm just going to go for the water vader on the right, try and grab that potion. They tried to go for the pre fire on me and did not hit it. Wait for them to shoot that arrow and then peek. This person's going under. Let's go ahead and drop you. Uh, did lose a teammate. My teammate over here is rolling though. We can finish off that fella. This guy over here is full. Or not full, 6 HP I mean. Now they're dead. Alright. Only one death, that's pretty good. You want to minimize the deaths during win streak runs because it really sucks if the team that you beat comes back and beats you by like a single kill because they had like three kills against you or something. If you only get a single kill against you or even no kills against you, it's a lot harder for them to beat you by kills. Such as the situation we're in right now, where both of these teams have killed three of each other's players. I hate it when this happens, because it means that all the other teams are farming kills. Ooh, but if they could win base off of Wool and not get the final kill? Okay, that's that's pretty decent then. But yeah, it's kind of unfortunate when teams farm kills against each other, because you don't want teams to be close to you in kills. Otherwise, they could pass you and beat you by like 1365 to 1320, and that's really heartbreaking. Dodge the pre-fire. Head up the water vader. This guy seems to be just rushing straight towards us. Nope, never mind. They decided better of it. Ooh, we're being shot from the other side of the map. This guy over here is 1 HP. So let's go ahead and rush you. Uh, what's the situation? 2v2. Okay. Let's try and... Oh, wait, they're already dead. This person right here... I think they have... Ooh, I'm kind of throwing. Let's just go ahead and dip. The iframes from teammate, that kind of stressed me out, but teammate also did a lot of damage to them with it, so we're fine. Alright, that was kind of a throw in the 1v1 right there, but we still won it, we're fine. But look at the situation we're in right now. Uh, I'm gonna keep talking about this. Purple team, we're up 1320. Orange team is 795. Yellow team, we need to get three kills if we want to guarantee first against yellow or orange team, I mean. If orange team hadn't gotten all those kills against cyan team, then we might only need like one kill to guarantee first. Oh, teammate's just going in. Alright, we only need one more kill to guarantee first. Actually, no, since someone on our team left, we only need uh, two kills, so I think we're fine. Alright, cool. We need- we got all the kills anyway. That is seven wins in a row now. I want to try to stay with the queue that I'm with right now. I have a rule when I'm going for win streaking. If I am winning in a queue, no matter how good my queue seems like it might be, you stick with that queue because you've already been winning in that queue. And if you join a different queue, then you might just run into a four stack. So I try to queue dodge as little as possible during win streak runs. Unless one of my rounds has some insane four stack join, and I somehow survive the encounter with that four stack, then I might uh, Q dodge. But in situations like this where I don't even know if there's a two stack in my game, I decide to just stick with it and hope I can get as far as I can. So let's hope no four stacks or three stacks have joined into our Q. Goldmine, this is a good map. I'm on a good team again, and there aren't any four stacks on any of the other teams. This is huge. Alright, I forgot to check what my teammates' kits were before I started, but actually I can just see them all right now. All of us have a crossbow, so it's pretty easy to tell what we're doing. We got two gadgeteers with us and one sharp sh or two sharpshooters. I am going to play over here and just go for the extra levy. Looks like they're leaning heavy towards that side. Okay, my teammate took the extra levy. I'm just going to drop you quickly. Whoa, I'm kind of throwing. What am I doing? Jesus Christ. Okay, we're good, we're good. You got bad guys over there that I don't want to deal with? Yes, teammate, can you kill them for me, please? Thank you. Okay. That is probably one of the worst 1v1s I have taken during this win streak. My god. 
I would hate it if I lost my win streak due to me throwing a 1v1. Fortunately, I have competent teammates and I didn't have to keep fighting on 1 HP. But if I were left in a 1v2 right there with that much HP left, that would have been a massive throw. Currently, my personal best for a win streak is 9 wins in a row post-update. Prior to the update, my personal best is the world record, which is 14. Oh, you are 2 HP. Whatever. Teammates can probably finish them off. I'm gonna rush. Let's help out with this player right here. Uh, they should die. Yep, they're dead now. Last guy, is the last guy I damaged or the other one? Okay, everyone's dead. I have a really good team. This is huge. If pink team could beat red team, that would be also amazing. And it looks like pink team might actually do that. Good damage. Good damage. One HP. Pink team should be able to finish that off. Nice. Last red player, if they can kill this guy without having any more deaths. Perfect. Okay, we only need two kills to guarantee first, I think. All right, red team, we need two kills. I'm going to play cautious, and I'm just going to wait for the picks. I don't need to play for the win right now. I just need to play for the extra kills. Just shoot that player, just to get damage and set up my teammates for the kills. That's a healer right, now, right there. I want to drop you. Man, I cannot sword PvP right now. Okay, we got our kills. We're good. Guaranteed first place. I'm dead. Doesn't matter. If my teammates want to win their fights, though, that would still be preferred just to ease my heart in case I counted wrong. Thank you. Okay, we're 100% guaranteed first now. Uh, that is now eight wins in a row, I think. At this point, it could be counting wrong. Pumpkin Patch. This is a horrible map. I don't have any ranked teammates either. Man, of all maps to not have ranked teammates on, this is probably the one I would least want to have that. Okay, players I need to look out for. Black Sean is on orange team. Ride to Eye is on Cyan. Purple team has a lot of ranked players. I don't necessarily recognize any of their usernames. Mm, this is just not a good situation to be in. I hate this map so much. I could 100% see myself losing the streak here. And I'm so close to my PB too. If I just win one more round, I tie my PB again. I'm going to go for the heal pot at middle. Shoot you. Alright, this guy is trying to bow me a lot. Teammate dropped them. Teammate also dropped that guy. Right to eye has been shot a lot over there. Perfect. Okay, if we can just kill this guy. No more deaths, please. Perfect. Okay, good. My teammates seem competent. That's huge. When you're teamed with gray crowns, you never know what to expect. Purple team is losing to orange team. They did not get too many kills. They only got two out of that. That's good. All right, beating orange team is the main priority now. We are going up against them. Black Sean may expect me to go for the pot at middle. Which side is Black Sean going for? Refire fire this. Just try and drop, drop Black Sean. Black Sean's dead. Huge. Try and shoot the guy that's inside of their spawn. Just try and hit shots on people. Not after anyone in particular. Just want to drop players. Go up the water vader. Try and support my teammates that are at the top over there. Drop you. Good. And my teammates drop the other. Huge. If purple team loses, that's even better. If purple team doesn't lose, that's fine. We need to get two kills against them to guarantee first. And it looks like purple team wins. Unless right to I. Nope, never mind. All right, we need two kills against purple team to guarantee first. I am not going to play for the win once again. I'm just going to play for the kills. That shot went right through. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, if they go for the wool rush, then we win. So I don't necessarily mind it. Okay, we got our two kills. We've already won. Nice. Last guy is dropping on us. I'm going to dip. Nice. That's a flawless victory, actually. Cool. None of my teammates died. Alright, enter the queue again. We missed the queue. That is... Ooh, I don't like that. All of those teams that just lost were in that previous queue, because as soon as those players died, they entered a new queue. Which means all the losing players are in that other queue, and all of the winning players are in my queue now. On the bright side, we have tied my PB post-update. Uh, we are at 9 now. Oh, please don't regret it. Please don't regret it. Who's it going to be? 
What's the map? Please be a decent map. Ships, that is not a decent map. Okay. Pink team is the team to beat. Most likely. The fact that there is a red team means that red team could be a party. I'm just not going to write off any team. When you get this late into the streak, it's it's not good to underestimate any of the teams. I'm counting on Veyrol, our only ranked player here, to be decent. They are a green crown, which is the lowest rank possible after the gray rank, but I need to hold on to something. All right. I'm just going to play this side. Go for a pre-fire over here because I don't see anybody. This is the pre-fire. That's not good. All right. There's two, two split. Shoot you a little bit. Hmm, get shot. That's not good. Shoot you again. Yeah, that player is dead. 4v3. I don't know how teammates doing over there. Hmm, they lost the fight. Hmm, they lost another fight. Okay, good shot. Good shot again. That player is 1 HP. I don't think they have a healer either. Good shot by teammate. Try and levy you. Perfect. All right, we did lose two players, but that's fine. Two players is such a huge difference compared to losing three. Pink team is still the team I'm the most worried about. First, let's just beat red team though. Why did two players leave on green team? Pink team is just guaranteed a win now. Hmm, and I just got pre-fired. I'm just gonna ditch the pot. Am I still glowing? I'm not glowing anymore. Is that player gonna grab the pot? They haven't. Try and make you weak enough that the teammate can beat you in a fight. Good. Perfect. Exactly as intended. Oh, they're all grouped up. This is perfect for bowing. Perfect. Okay. King team one is expected, so they're the team to beat. Alright. Ships. Not a map I enjoy. Pink team has solid players on it. Even their gray rank is a good player. They were on my team last game and they were getting kills. Let's do a regular pre-fire. Get pre-fired. That's not good. Grab this pot and dip. I'm gonna support my teammates. Maybe drop a levy over here. Good kills. Drop a levy over there. Make sure that kill gets done. We did lose a player in that fight, which is unfortunate. Okay, good go, good bow game right here, though. Perfect. I did not mean to shoot my crossbow right there. That was an interesting combo. I've never done that before. All right, that's nine wins in a row. Or is that ten wins in a row? I don't know anymore. I'm going to say nine wins in a row. It could be at ten right now. Maps like Goldmine are... They take a lot longer to play, so it gives you a lot more time to actually take players out individually. Whereas maps like Spa, you have a lot less time to kill the enemies. Water Mill, interesting map. I can't say I'm too disappointed. I do have solid teammates. I have Diomni and Vero on my team. This is good. I did not expect for this record to get this far. The fact that the record I finally do well on is the one that I'm talking on. This is truly the first time I've ever talked during a win streak run. And it's going this far. I think that the strategy might just be to talk during my runs because I've never... Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage. Because I've never made it this far during a run before. I need to be careful. One crossbow shot and I'm done. Okay, yeah, I'm good now. Teammates are popping off. I love to see this. Oh my god. It's so nice to have good teammates. It's a breath of fresh air. I don't say that toxically. I mean that in a win streak context. When you have good teammates, it's good to not get complacent. I have gotten complacent during my win streak runs before, and my good teammates, they will die, and I will die, and we will lose the win streak run when it's a team that should just be winning. So I'm not going to get complacent, but at the same time, it is nice to have teammates that I know can handle themselves in a 1v1. Good pre-fire to land. Grab that and dip. Oh wow, they are out of there. Okay, wait. Teammate just died. 3v1. Let's try and minimize the amount of kills they get if we can just drop this player. Perfect. Okay, I think they surrendered or something. They were just crouching there. Okay. Only need a single kill to guarantee first. Alright, we only need a single kill to guarantee first. 
need to keep that in mind. I need to not go for the win. I need to just go for one of the kills. If I see a player on 1 HP, I'm hard targeting that guy. That's 1 HP player right there. Perfect. Just drop you. Oh, okay. I think they just surrendered. We'll take that. All right. Sweet. I think that's right there at 10 or 11 or 12 or something. I don't know. I always lose track during the end of my win streak runs. I like to keep my expectations low though, that way no matter what happens, I am happy with the results. Perfect, okay. Try and join this queue as quickly as possible, please. Okay, we missed it. But there aren't any stacks in the queue right now, it's only solos. Okay, three stack just joined. I have no idea who the three stack is. I'm just gonna let whichever three stack is joining those stay. Because I've not been having problems yet. Did another stack just join? Okay, that's that's shady. Could it be the end? Is what goes through my mind before every single game. Trenches! I was just talking about how I would prefer you not be the map. Especially against red team and green team. Oh my god, teammates, I need y'all to lock in. What? The it's it's when queues like this join that the win streak just ends. That is a solid queue right there. Why are you guys playing Battle Box? Go away. Go and play Sky Battle. Every single one of these queues has, or every single one of these teams has at least two ranked players on it. At least my non-ranked players, or at least Diomni's good. I don't know about Pug Pies. We're up against Pink Team first. Okay, they got the uh, the orb. Teammates are getting kills. That's good. All right, let me just dip. Teammates are doing good. We did lose one. That's fine. We can lose one. Red team, of course, absolutely rolled the team that they were up against. I'm going to warn my teammates that red team is really good just to manage expectations. I'll warn them once we actually go up against red team. I need my teammates to um, have that lock-in mindset. This is still a really good team, though. Sherpa and Box are both on this team. Okay, that's not good. I don't like that. I just got shot right there. This guy might be about to get dropped. Another issue is that I'm not disguised right now, and the players on these teams 100% know who I am. Why am I missing shots? Okay, that's one down. Support my teammates. Stick with them. Nice. Fast is 5 HP. Just push it. Perfect. Okay. Final boss though, this they've won both of their games. This is where it can end. It's gonna warn my team. Need us to lock in. No way my teammate left. Back up, this team is 100% gonna push me if I stick around them too far, too long. Oh, there's just so many. Okay, 1v1. Please, teammate, please, please, please. Okay, well, well, I'm gonna have to go ahead and count and see how many wins that actually is. I think it's somewhere... It's either 10, 11, or 12. I don't know. Either way, it's a new personal best. I'm hoping it's at least 11. If it's 11, that ties the current record for post-update win streak. But we'll see. All right. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.